So the question often comes up is to how do I seal or treat the edges of a multi-layer laminated bus? So there's four different systems. We can use an open edge. Just extend the insulation out uh, a certain distance for all the, uh, the films, whether it's PET or Nomex, doesn't matter. And we just laminate the package together and the edges are open. If it's a relatively clean environment, people aren't gonna bang into it, it's inside of a box and all that, that's fine. And the second would be to a pinch seal or mold seal. So we'll create the lamination fixture and its components that will bring extra pressure to that outer edges of the insulation and pinch seal it and the resins will you know, bond them all together. Other uh, applications, we would epoxy edge fill it. So we'll let the insulation come out some distance, not necessarily as long as I would to pinch seal it. So if spacing is a requirement, you know, I got uh, limited areas around the edge of this. So we'll just extend the insulation out, you know, an electrical, an amount that it'll pass the electrical test, and then we'll pour in epoxy. So we, a uh, little more labor intensive, but it's a good seal all the way around the edges. So we'll set it up in our system and we'll pour down one edge and let it cure and pour down the other edge. So epoxy edge fill, very common. Uh, and a fourth um, method would be to use FR4 glass. Similar in sealing the edge like an epoxy uh, edge fill, but it adds a degree of strength to it. FR4 strips or pieces could be inserted in the edge and during the lamination process, it's, it's sealed and bonded by the resins in the, uh, in the film. Real nice if I've got, you know, service ticks or something that, you know, coming in and might touch you know, tap the edges and things like that. It's a little more rugged in that respect. So four simple ways to treat the edges in a laminated bus bar.